today we're going to be doing another little product test for Helmar. This time using their Crystal Coat Matte Finish Workable Fixative. This stuff is crystal clear, acid free, non yellowing, archival safe, and it protects while you create. The label says you can use it with pastel, charcoal, pencil, chalk, watercolors, tempera, Conte crayon, India ink, and ink. So it pretty much plays well with everything, right? I frequently see questions about fixatives, about um, you know how you use them, when you use them, why you use them, what you use them with, that kind of thing. So let's just demystify the whole thing right here and now. How's that? Okay. I am not going to try it on every single uh, medium that it says it works with because I believe them. <laughs> I've used enough Helmar products so far to know that uh, when they say it works with something, it does. It works with something. So I have no trust issues there. But I do want to make sure that it works with the things that I frequently use. So I looked around and I, I chose just some dry mediums and uh, these are things that I, I might um, use frequently and might need a fixative for and I chose some pan pastels some uh, these are perfect pearls powdered pigments this is just a craft chalk and Prismacolor colored pencils and then just a drawing pencil these are the, the things that I use that tend to smudge when you're working with them. And I am curious to see how the Helmar Fixative fixes that. So, and that, that's what a fixative is for. If you're not familiar at all with fixatives, they are used to keep your mediums kind of in place while you're working. For instance, um, okay, let me show you. Well, I don't really have an example, but let me show you what could be an example. I doodle, right? And most of my doodles I sketch out in pencil before I draw in all the details with pens, right? And some of them are pretty busy. Like, you know, this one, there's a lot going on. And, you know, when you draw something down here and then you move up here and your hand does this, <laughs> It smudges <laughs> everywhere, right? And that'll happen with pen, pencil, you know, just all kinds of different dry mediums. So this is a situation where I could really benefit from using a fixative if I would get on the stick and use it. I admit, I don't use them. Why don't I use them? I don't know. I guess effort, <laughs> maybe. I really should because I have a need for them. So that um, is one good use for a fixative, is while you're drawing or doodling, just to keep your um, pen and ink or your pencil from going all over the place. And same thing with colored pencils, because I use uh, Prismacolor pencils a lot, right? And sometimes I want them to kind of smudge and blend I have a good example somewhere if I can find it. Yeah. Sometimes I like them smudgy and blendy, but then sometimes I don't. You know, if I'm coloring something with detail, I, I want things to stay put until I'm ready to blend them. And um, a lot of times it's the same situation. You know, when you're coloring here and then move up here, your hand gets in it and it smears everywhere. So I'm curious to see if this is going to solve that problem. So those are situations in which you might need a fixative and can benefit from it. Now does that mean that your work is sealed and, and you can just do this like crazy and it won't smudge? No, that is not what it means at all. You know, if you put some effort into it after you've used a fixative, well heck yeah, you can still smudge it. This helps to prevent smudging that happens just in your regular work, like your hand going across it, things like that. So let's take, this is just a piece of smooth white cardstock, and let's start with this pencil. This is just a sketch pencil 6B is what it says. 
means nothing to me. I just know that, uh, you know, I, I have some that are fat and soft and some that are real hard and pointy. <laughs> And this is usually the one I start my sketching with because it's soft and it's easy to erase and I erase a lot. <laughs> so let's just do this. Let's just pretend I'm sketching. Let's take a little uh, swab. Uh, it's a swab on a stick. I call these strep throat swabs. I don't know what they're really called but swab on a stick basically I guess. And over here, you can see that it's very easy to smudge. You know, very little effort it took to smudge right there. Okay, now let's do, this is a, a Prismacolor Premier colored pencil. The color is Ultramarine. Prismacolor pencils are very waxy. And as you can see, it doesn't take much to smudge it as well. Can you see? I don't even know. You might just have to trust me on that one. Alrighty, how about some chalk? This is just a craft chalk. It's not a fancy pastel, just chalk. And heck yeah, it smudges with no effort at all. Um, pan pastels. Oh, I need an applicator. I've got this weird sponge on a stick thing. I don't, I don't know where I got it. Don't ask me. I've had it for eons. Let's just use it to, oh, make a mess. Will it smudge? Yes, it will. And then our last one is going to be some Perfect Pearls from Ranger. Oh, here. Let's just do this. I don't really have very many colors, and this one doesn't show up well. But if you use these pigments, you know they pretty much just kind of lay on top of paper. Right? So, yes, it smudges. So all of our dry mediums that we have put on here have smudged very easily with very little effort. So they should be a good test for our uh, workable fixative from Helmore. Now, the instructions say to shake the can and then to spray across this way and spray across this way, but not in a downward direction. It says to hold your paper up. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Holding my paper up, spraying left to right. Now I'm going to turn it up this way and spray again. Now it says to let that dry. It says it'll be dry to the touch in five minutes or completely dry in 30 minutes. Okay, seriously, I don't have that kind of time. So I'm going to hit it with my heat gun. <laughs> this is not per the manufacturer's instructions, but you know, we can improvise. We'll see what happens. Okay, now. Let's go in and see what we have. I think, yeah, I think it's dry. Now, this um, top one was our, just our graphite sketch pencil. If I really work on it, you can see that it will smudge just a little bit, but nothing like over here. If I'm just running my hand through it, I think this is going to be a big improvement. So that one did good. This was the Prismacolor Premier colored pencil. Well, this is holding really good. Again, if you really go to town on it, you can get some smudging. But for the run in the hand across it, that's going to be another big help. Good deal. 
Okay, this is the chalk. Wow, that's a big improvement. That is just loose, cheap chalk, which is really, really easy to blend, but not with fixative on it. That's kind of impressive. Okay, uh, pan pastel, which is also easy to smudge. Again, major difference. And the last one is the Ranger uh, Perfect Pearls. Make sure my swab is clean. Which again is just significantly better. Okay, I think it's fair to say that <laughs> this stuff works. <laughs> At least on the mediums that I've used it on and might find myself frequently using. Um, yeah, it's really definitely worth it to give it a quick spray, let it dry, and then continue with what you're doing so that you don't smudge um, your previous work. You know, it really does what it says that it does. And, and i found that <laughs> all of the Helma products do. So this is great. I'm going to start using this fixative in some of the stuff that I do and uh, see what happens because uh, I'm kind of impressed now that I've actually used it for real. So give it a try for yourself. Use it on the mediums that you use most frequently, wet or dry and see what you think, but I'm willing to bet that um, it's going to work pretty darn good for you too. So that is all I have for now. The end. <laughs>